Hello, it's Leifa. How are you? And I wanted to share with you some key benefits to having long hair but it's not just a regular video just to show off the fact that my hair is a decent length no this video is a collaboration with Vanessa Canby and it's more of a battle of the hair so the battle of the long hair versus short hair and sort of sharing with you the benefits whether you are trying to grow your hair out or you are thinking of you know going for the big chop we thought we'd share with you some of our um, experiences and if you don't know who Vanessa can be is she is absolutely stunning I love watching her model to motherhood journey but you know what forget all me talking about her I'll let her introduce herself Hey guys, I'm Vanessa Canby. I'm a mum of two. I've got a son who's four and a daughter who's one. And I do all sorts of videos. I upload twice a week. Vlogs, tips, you know, a lot of different things. So yeah, head over to my channel and check it out after you've watched this video. Yep, so that's Vanessa. And what will happen in this video is I will insert some of her benefits in this video and she will also insert some of my benefits in her video. So I suggest you go checking out her channel and also check out the video. So my benefit, and I think that this is more in keeping with what I'm doing right now, is that longer hair is generally more recognised in the blogosphere than shorter hair. Now, I'm not saying that your hair isn't recognised when you have shorter hair. Unless you have like a banging look and a banging style and your hair is cut in a certain way, generally speaking, in the blogosphere, longer hair is appreciated a lot more. And I think that recognition also follows through into real life. Like if you, if I have my hair out like this, out in public, I will generally get more looks in the street because not only is it big and voluminous, but I'd also get questions like, how do you grow your hair so long? And da 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 da. So there's just a lot more interest I find. And that's just, just my personal experience. Don't attack me, but I find that there's a lot more, um, appreciation and recognition and just interest in longer hair. So this is a major one for me. This is one of the things that really made me want to head towards getting my hair all cut off. And that was the time it was taking me in the shower. So a point for having short hair is that you save time in the shower and styling for that matter. Um, I used to have to like, it would, I would sometimes be in the shower and I would be thinking to myself, this comb isn't gonna get through my hair today. And <laughs> that happened on a regular basis. And um, it was just getting too much. My hair was so long and I was just thinking like, oh, please get through today. Please, I don't wanna be walking out with like matted hair. Um, so yeah, now I've got short hair. I literally get in the shower, like put <laughs> shampoo and conditioner in and like, it, I don't even have to brush through it. It's amazing. I honestly, it's the best thing ever. When it comes to long hair, I feel that it's easier to have a go-to style, especially when you are having a bad hair day. Obviously, bad hair days with long hair is an issue in itself, but if you are having a bad hair day, you can always have a go-to style that you go back to. Mine is often bunning my hair into a low bun or into two um, buns like that. And that's my go-to style when I don't wanna deal with my hair, when I'm having a lazy day, when I'm having an off day, when I'm having any sort of, I don't wanna deal with my hair day, I have a go-to style. With, long, with shorter hair, you might not necessarily have that unless you sort of wear a cap. It's definitely easier to have a go-to hairstyle for those lazy days or those bad hair days. Another point is that when I get my hair cut, I just have to tell them like one length. I don't have to think about style. I don't have to think about anything like that because it's so short and it has been shorter. It was like a 0.5, if you know what that is. It's very, very short. It's basically no hair at all. Um, but now I just have to tell them you know, just like, to be honest, I'm not cutting it right now. I'm just like letting it see what happens with it. But um, I used to just say, yeah, just like 0.5 all over. And you know, Bob's your uncle. Whereas before, when I had long hair and I had Afro hair, I've still got Afro hair, but it's like looking a bit 
you know, you can't really see it. I don't know why I think because it's short, it's not like springing up. I used to have to tell them and really trust the person and I, it, that's what ended up with me not really getting my hair cut very often because I had like a dreadful experience where I went to a hairdresser. They said they knew, it was like a reputable hairdresser. They said they knew what they were doing. <sighs> I might, even if I can find the picture, I'm gonna put a before and after. I went and I asked for an inch off and they cut it wet when I had afro hair and no joke, they must have taken about like six inches off. My hair started there and then it ended up here and at that point I didn't want short hair so I was like, I wasn't really that bothered but I was modelling at the time as well so my agency were, you know, not best pleased, should I say. So yeah, with my hair now, there's no, no fuss, just, can you just, you know, cut it at whatever length and yeah, so it's much easier in that regard. Now my fifth one, and I think that this could be quite debatable and get quite political, but this is generally speaking, not across the board. I feel that men prefer longer hair. Now I know you might think, oh girl, don't even go there, but I do have a video which I will link in the eye or also in the description box, which I done years ago. And I expressed my feelings about how men treated me differently when I, um, this was like the first time I wore a really long weave in a really really long time and I expressed my feelings about how I would get looked at more I would get approached more and um, I tend to get admired a lot more when I show my hair when I show my length most definitely I think that my husband prefers me with longer hair as well and I don't know if this is a situation whereby men have been conditioned to feel this way by media or if this is like an innate thing that they have and you know they feel that women should just have longer hair so that it's something to play with and something to admire um a few months ago i jokingly um suggested well it wasn't really a joke actually i suggested to my husband that i was going to cut my hair as in cut it all off yeah that that <laughs> that did not go down too well Obviously, my husband is an individual person and he can't speak for all men, but I would generally, I honestly feel that men do prefer longer hair. And unless you have like a small head and a really pretty face, don't go cutting off your hair. These are basically my five benefits of having long hair. And um, if you haven't caught the other two, check them out on Vanessa Canby's channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment below. I'd love to hear some of your experiences of um, have the benefits of having longer hair, why you prefer longer hair, or if you have short hair, why do you prefer shorter hair? And a massive shout out to Vanessa Canby. Check her out. Check out her video on her channel. I will leave her information in the description box and also in the eye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you like these sorts of videos, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and until my next video, think smart, work hard, make it happen. Bye!